All right, so here's a question I'm being asked a lot right now, so I'll talk about it if you'd like to. Uh, how do you find a missing term of an arithmetic sequence? I'm going to start this with the, under, with the agreement with you that you already know something about arithmetic sequences. I will remind, let's be reminded that an arithmetic, the nth term here, this is ordinal, the nth term of an arithmetic sequence is the first term plus n, this n is this one, n minus 1 times d, where d is the common difference. Um, so here's this example. It says if the fourth term is equal to 5 and the ninth term is equal to 20, find the sixth term. And it's not too bad. We just have to s use this information. We're going to use this information here. Let me show you where I'm going with this really quickly. Where I'm going with this is I'm going to take this piece of information and I'm going to drop it into here. And then I'm going to take this piece of information and I'm going to drop it into here. And then I'm going to combine those two things and do a little bit of really quick Gaussian elimination. And Gaussian elimination is Friedrich Gaussian. It's really easy. You've seen it before. Maybe you just didn't know that's what it's called. But let's take this. We know that, that the fourth term is equal to, I'm just taking this, is equal to the first term plus, so we want the fourth term. The fourth term is the first term plus the fourth term minus 1. So minus 1 times the common difference. So that actually does help a little bit more than you might think because we also know that the fourth term is 5. So we have 5 is equal to the first term plus 4 minus 1 is 3 and 3 times d is 3d, isn't it? And this is a terrible d, but that's a d, sorry. Right, so this is our first equation. And then I, what I said what I was going to do is I was going to take this equation and do the same thing with it. So this is going to be our second equation, if you don't mind. And I'm just going to say this to you that the ninth term is also equal to the first term plus n is 9. So 9, this 9 is this 9, right? 9 minus 1 times the common difference. I'm going to simplify that. We know that the ninth term. We know the ninth term is 20, so 20 is equal to the first term plus 9 minus 1 is 8. D. Look, we're almost done, and we're only a couple of minutes into this, so please stay with me because this is going to get easier. I think. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to subtract one equation from the other. It doesn't matter which way you do it. So I'm just going to subtract one equation from the other. So I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to put it over here. No. All right, I'm going to bring this. Sorry, I tried to figure it all up at once. Come on, little buddy. You can do it. Right? Right, if you think about it, this is just elimination, right, from Algebra 1. And what are we going to, what we're going to eliminate, what, what we're trying to figure out here is what's the value of D. But look, if we subtract this whole thing out, that makes this negative, this negative, and this negative, doesn't it? So I'm subtracting the whole thing out. And then look what happens here. We get 5 minus 20 is negative 15. Here's the elimination part. A minus a sub 1 minus a sub 1 is 0, isn't it? 3 minus 8 is negative 5. Divide both sides by negative 5, if you don't mind. We're going to divide both sides by negative 5. Negative 5 here. And we get D equals, equals 3. Isn't that right? So D equals 3. Right, so D equals 3. That's one piece of information. Just keep in mind, again, what I'm doing is I'm going to rebuild. I'm going to take this, and I'm going to start rebuilding this whole thing up here. So everything comes back to that general form there. So that's that. Then all I'm going to do is this. It gets really easy from here. Look, it, I'm going to take one of the equations. Which one do you want? To, let's take this one. I'm going to take this equation right here, if you don't mind. I'm going to drag it over here. And then I'm going to take some stuff that I know and solve, right? So I have 5 equals a sub 1, the first term, plus 3 times d. Check me out here. d is 3, so not d anymore, but 3, right? Starting to clean this up. So we have 5 equals the first term. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 9. Remember, we're, what 
where I'm, what I'm trying to get right now is this piece. I'm trying to figure out what this value is. So when I solve this, I'm gonna get I'm gonna put it up here. So let's do that. I'm gonna add. I'm gonna subtract nine from both sides. So negative nine here, negative nine here, and take this out. We get right a the first term is equal to five minus nine is negative four. So look at this for a second. We're almost done. This has gotten really easy. Now we can we have the general solution to this now, right? I'm just filling in the blanks here. The nth term a the nth term is equal to a sub one, but a sub one is negative four. Is equal to negative four plus n minus one times d, right? Times d. But look, d is three, so times three. So check me out. Now to find the sixth term, we're done, and this is actually in a record time. I hope this is working out good for you. We want the sixth term. Remember, this says the nth term. It's in order. So if we want the sixth term, then we want a sub six, which means the sixth term, and it would be negative four plus, right? This six right here is this six right here, minus one, right, times d. This is getting really good, I think. The sixth term is six minus, whoops, that was really stupid, sorry. We said d is three, I don't need to put that, d is three, isn't it? So six minus one is five, five times three is 15. So we have negative four plus 15 equals 11. So the sixth term is 11. Not bad, right? Uh, when you're going back to study this, and I'm hoping that you are, that you didn't give up on me on this video, remember, start here. Everything goes to this. And see how many times we went back to this. So that's our big plan, okay? Great work. Keep it up.